Africa Climate Resilient Investment Facility, AFRIRES, strengthening capacity of member states and stakeholders to build climate resilient investments in transport, energy, agriculture, water, and ecosystem sector. My name is Tato Dilis Orok. I'm from Cameroon, the Southwest region. I believe honestly that education is the springboard for human development. And from my experiences in back in my country, when I was in the secondary school, I noticed that there were many times we could not go back to school because of floods and high tides and all the rest. And also in my country, very little is spoken about climate change, especially in relation to education. And I also noticed that on most international platforms, the aspect of education and climate change is very much ignored. So I think that it is very, very necessary for climate change activities to be integrated into education in order to facilitate the smooth running of learning. For example, the little children, let's say from age 10 to 15 years, for the very first time they go to secondary school and um, there is high tides. Most of the time the water level is higher than their height and it's difficult for them to assess the classrooms. And for those also who are still very small in their classes, they are on, they are difficult, it's difficult for them to carry their teachers on their back. So they may go a whole day without any teacher in class because teachers also find it difficult to enter the water to come into class in order to teach them. So the younger students are very much more vulnerable in areas where they have marshlands or in coastal areas where there's flood from time to time. Nobody is supposed to be ignorant about his or her environment. I believe strongly that everything we know now is because we learned it from the basic level. When they start learning from the basic level, if the government integrates um, um, climate change education from the basic level and they start learning it and climbing up, each and every one of us will be able to, will be able to fight or to be able to curb the challenges of climate change, it will no longer be a, the it will no longer be the responsibility of international bodies or a group of persons, but every citizen in the nation will be aware of climate change and will know how to curb it. One of the things I've learned is the ability to to have access to climate change data. We do not know back in our country that there, there was a way in which you could assess climate data because most of the times we want to suggest policies, we want to suggest solutions on how to curb climate change, but we do not have facts and details on how to, that, that we can present in front of our authorities back in our nation on how to, on, on the impact of climate change on public education or on the environment. But now that, um, I learned here on how to assess data. I believe with that knowledge, I can be able to um, assess data on my own and also present it to the competent authorities to see what they can do with that. The course I did was um, agriculture and women's empowerment. Yes, I did that with IDEP, and the course was very, very important, especially for me, who did not go up in the in an agricultural sector, I grew up in the coastal area. I didn't know much about farming, but I grew, um, when I did the course, I came to understand the importance of agriculture to the woman. Because in our rural areas, most women depend on agriculture, but sometimes they have limited knowledge or no knowledge about how to grow themselves in the agricultural sector. And this empowered me a lot because I'm interested in women empowerment to see how to empower women the more and encourage them in the sector of agriculture. And myself personally, it has boosted my desire to invest in the area of agriculture. If I'm given the opportunity personally, I will start with my immediate environment. For example, in the organization where I find myself is an organization that is out to um, raise impact leaders 
from every field of life. We have leaders from everywhere. And so the first thing I'll do will be to transfer the same knowledge I have gotten from IDEP to them. And I think that they too will be able to transfer the same knowledge to others. And also will be to tell them more also about IDEP so that more people can come into the platform and learn more about climate change resilience and other related causes. AfriRest facility is a joint initiative of the UN Economic Commission for Africa, Africa Union Commission, the World Bank and the African Development Bank, with initial funding from the Nordic Development Fund. The training in conjunction with the African Institute for Economic Development and Planning, EDEP, aims at strengthening the continent's decision-makers' capacity to plan, design and implement climate-resilient projects. ADEP is the UN Economic Commission for Africa's training arm based in Dakar, Senegal.